Good morning, uh, students. Um, uh, this is th this video is a request uh, from some students. They want me to explain uh, conjugate search. So um, I'm here to explain conjugate search. So let's go to conjugate search. If you go to your notes on week five, lesson one, uh, write down uh, notes on search. We will look at using conjugate search here. Okay, okay. So conjugate search, conjugate. What do we mean by conjugate? So conjugate means uh, uh, it simply means we change uh, we change the operation sign. Okay. Right now, what we have here, what we have here is a. Uh, we change the operation sign. So, um, for instance, if I have two plus per root three, and we take the conjugate of that, it will be two subtracted by conjugate uh, third three. Okay. Conjugation is we change the operation sign here to its opposite, which is negative. Okay. So if it is a minus here, we change it to a Plus, okay. <clears throat> so when we are dealing with conjugate thirds, that uh, of, of fractions with thirds, okay. What we do is uh, what we do is we we look at uh, we look at the denominator two plus square root seven. We look at the denominator, and what we do is we take the conjugate of the denominator. Whatever expression we're given, we take the conjugate of that and we multiply by the numerator and denominator. Okay, so we are given three on two plus square root seven. Okay, that's it. So we take the conjugate of two plus square root seven, which is, uh, which is two subtracted by square root seven, and we multiply by the numerator and the denominator. So that is why. You're witnessing what I have here, and then when I multiply, I multiply everything like we're expanding. Okay, numbers with numbers, those with square root sign, we multiply the numbers inside. So three times two to give us six, three times negative square root seven to give us a three square root seven. Notice that 3 cannot multiply 7 because 7 is in square root sign and 3 is not. So we have it as 3 square root 7. But if 3 is in a square root sign, then you can multiply that. Okay, over. <coughs> 2 multiply 2 to give us 4. 2 multiply square root 7 to give us a minus 2 square root 7. And then square root 7 multiply 2 to give us a plus 2 square root 7. And then a square root 7 multiply a square root minus square root 7 is a minus square root 49. Okay? So notice that when we have 49. Sorry. Blah, blah. So notice that we have uh, square root of 49. Okay, when square root 7 multiplies square root 7, the numbers inside the square root sign multiply together. Okay, like I mentioned, the square roots they multiply together because they are common uh, common terms, whereas numbers like this cannot multiply by square root. So that is why you have a number outside and a square root beside it. Okay. Okay, so then we simplify negative 2 square root 7 plus 2 square root 7. This is the same as saying uh, we have a common the common term here, yeah, square root 7, square root 7. So we add the number in front of it. For instance, like negative 2, having it as negative 2x plus 2x. Okay, so 2x plus 2x. Okay. You, you treat x as a term, common term, and okay, so therefore you treat square root as common term, 
and you only add the coefficients, okay? 2 and 2. Therefore, you have negative 2x plus 2x to give us a 0. 0. So this will cancel out. Okay? This will cancel out and leaving us with 6 minus 3 square root 7 over 4 minus a square root 49. 49 is again a square number. Therefore, it will be 4 minus 7. And our answer is 4 minus 7 is 4 minus 7 is a negative 3. You can have your answer as this or you can have your answer as given separated into partial fractions like this and simplify further. Okay? So I hope this is uh, simple enough. So what we're looking at here, conjugate set, the same procedure happens in example three. Okay, so uh, I hope this video helps or assists you well in the question you've asked me, students. So thank you, everyone. I will uh, come back uh, later, ten o'clock today, for a live session for lesson two five. Thank you. You have a nice day.